Okay, it's Andy Graham. Tim's got another question. Um, how do your responsibilities shift and how do you manage them not tied to one location? Um, I, I admit I don't really understand this word, this uh, idea of responsibilities. Um, to me, paying for a mortgage is a responsibility and a self-inflicted one. Getting married is self-inflicted. Uh, somehow reporting to the boss is self-inflicted. And either, if you don't like it, quit. Now, somehow people want to hate the boss but not quit. They want to be married but not get divorced. They want to. They want to end the marriage, but they don't. So they're basically have. They want their cake and eat it too. And responsibilities are really on or off. And uh, my mother and father, I'm responsible to them. My sisters and brothers and my friends, my good friends. I have a couple people around the planet that, that if they called and said come, I'm coming. I uh, I don't know if they know that, but. Bottom line is, I'm their friend, will always be their friend, and if they need my help, I'll be there. Now, being there for somebody is, is many different levels. It's whether it's financial, intimacy, whatever. Um, it's not my job to emotionally keep somebody happy. So that's not my responsibility. It's not my responsibility to edit what I say so you like what I say. That's your problem if you don't like it. It's not my responsibility. These are boundary issues, okay? And uh, shifting from one location to another location, I don't have any responsibilities, and I'm trying to think of any responsibilities I have. I, most people think I have some kind of responsibility to the readers. I, I have a, one responsibility to the readers. That's to tell the truth. Because if I lie to you, when I shine you on, you could go into a place and do something very dangerous and get hurt. So I will not, under any condition. It's like part of the traveler's creed. You don't lie to another traveler. Now, that doesn't mean some travelers aren't delusional. But, uh, and they come up with these fantasies. I, I had a guy from Bulgaria or something that was trying to tell me that India was the most cleanest place he'd ever been to. And I was like, going, these guys wipe their hands, their ass with their hand. <laughs> okay, I found one bar of soap. <laughs> this is ridiculously dirty. Oh yeah, it's a crazy place. And it's, Africa's dirty. I mean, there's, you know, the third world's got a problem with manners and dirt. You know, they just don't get it done. But, shifting responsibility, not tied to one location. Uh, what ties you to location is buying a house, buying a car, buying a... You guys are bored with me telling you this, but every time you get, every time you get a mortgage payment, every time you get a loan, you basically are own. You you know you're you're a wage slave or you're a. I mean, it's just exactly what the finance, you know, what the Bible was warning me about. Basically, beware of the money lenders. The money lenders will put you on a string and keep you there and make you somehow have this mental confusion and believe you're supposed to love it. Um, Get rid of all your expenses and live cash, and that, that would be healthy and uh, functional. It means that you can never go bankrupt. <laughs> uh, but tied to one location. I'm trying to think of responsibility. Somebody's got to tell me what I'm supposed to be responsible for so I can answer this question better. Okay, Andy Graham, Hobo Traveler in uh, Dapong, Togo, West Africa. Tonight, let's